Hello, One Direction. Hello. Hello. There they are. Look at their little faces. Damn. I can't even get mad at your little faces. So, so, Look so, at your little sorry. faces. <laughs> sorry, um, Reggie. Lads, thank you so much for uh, actually finding the time to come to Radio One and also helping us figure out making this work. Because this oh, yeah, is we were worried we weren't going to make it, actually. We were sat in the car. Me and Harry turned to each other. It was like, what? We missed the chart show. Yeah. Like, now, what would happen? It's been insane. It's been a very strange Sunday for me because normally the chart show is quite a calm and quiet affair. You know, yeah. guests never bring me a gift normally I interviewed Ed Sheeran a little bit earlier on I think I've got it in my pocket here and he gave me a Lego toy as a thank you we built in a studio together by the I'm way jealous. you guys got we, me any gifts car, you left it oh right yeah, yeah. yeah. don't really yeah. aware of that. Half a uh, anyhow normally it's very very quiet in the studio but today at one point there was about 600 girls outside wow. really? going wow. absolutely crazy thanks very much chanting cheering and waiting for One Direction to wow. arrive now it's a pretty insane thing for me as someone hosting the show downstairs and the calm that is the Radio 1 studio, knowing that it's going mad outside. But knowing that you're responsible for that, that they're doing that to show how much they love you, I mean, what does that do for you guys? Because this is all still relatively new, right? Yeah, I mean, we're just really sorry we couldn't go down and see him a little bit because it got, like, health and safety and that and we couldn't go down and... No, it's, it's mad to, ha to be able to cause that sort of reaction and we're just really thankful for the fans that come and support us. So just thank you very much to everyone. It's a really nice thing to think that just from the little things that, that, that we do, we can we can make an impact on people's days. It's a nice little thought. Yeah, OK. Well, I mean, you guys weren't with me um, when we just did a little rundown. We counted from 10 to 2. And um, for anyone that's listening at home, it's pretty obvious what's happened. Congratulations, One Direction. You're officially number one in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> did you just say what I guan? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, you've got your first ever number one with your first official single. Um, wow. Zane, how's that feel? It is. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I don't think uh, words can describe what we're feeling right now. Um, you know, it's our first single, and it's gone to number one. Amazing. It's. I'm. I'm. I'm speechless personally. I don't mm. speak a lot anyway, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am speechless. And uh, your journey's pretty. Uh, pretty awesome as well, because I mean, everyone that watches the show knows that you guys were, were were essentially put together and you gelled really, really quickly. What was it that made it work so soon for you lot? I think, I think it's our ages, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know it's kind of like for us it was almost like going into a new school, but like all <laughs> five of us. Yeah. Right. Right. Obviously, only five of us in school. I think when, when we kind of came together to kind of practice, I think we did it the right way. So, like, we didn't go too much into like, sing this, sing this, sing this. It was like we'd sing for an hour, play <laughs> football for three We'd sing for an hour, yeah. sing for about 15 no, minutes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sing three songs and then jump think, in the pool. You know, I think we used we used our first bit of time together to kind of to jail rather than it was go our freshers week. As, yeah, it right. was our freshers week. So it was, it was good, man. So is this one insane freshers year that you guys are all on freshers right year. now? Yeah. Freshers yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what this has slowly but surely become? Yeah. yeah man. So what would you be doing around about this time exactly a year ago? Listening to the chart oh. show. Nah, <laughs> what else? What right else? He says all the right things. No, really. So this time around about a year ago, would you be going into boot camp? Is that the stage that you'd be at? Uh, um, I think well, it's boot we would have. We would have been oh, no, just no, left Judge's house. Just, just left Judge's house. Yeah, 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 of course, because yeah. obviously we see what's uh, already been shot and recorded and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, would have yeah. just been coming out of Judge's houses, yeah. Yeah. knowing that you made it onto the show. So yeah. what was going on around about this time? We just got. We were home for a couple of weeks, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, that, that was yeah, weird yeah. actually. Yeah, we we kind of knew we were going to the to the live shows, you but we like had some time anyone. at home and like, yeah. yeah. How are you doing at the X Factor? Uh, are you going to wait and find out? Really? Yeah, so were you not allowed weird. to talk about it? No, 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 no way. Really. Say anything, really? We no, can't too. tell you anything. Wow. So for all the people that are going through it right now, what what sort of words do you have for them? Because they're probably listening. Some of them. Right. Do you have any words? We, we always say this. Me and Nan always say that there's like there's weeks in there where you're a bit tired because it's it's a tough old show, but like. You've just got to enjoy it. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah. You've really just got to yeah, enjoy it. I mean, there's just times yourself, on weeks I wish I'd enjoyed it a lot more than I did. And, yeah, completely. Because you, you come off it and you, you do really, really miss it. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. the most unbelievable platform and a great experience. And the, the things that you get to do, like, for example, the movie premieres from, you know, from just being us with just kids at school. It's just amazing. Nice. OK, well, look, we, uh, we put it on Facebook that you guys were going to be coming on the official chart today. And um, we got hundreds of questions and uh, one of them that came up uh, kind of a, a bit of a, a detour from what we've been talking about but I'm sure loads of ladies listening would love to know that is who do you fancy come on boys own up that was one of the most popular questions almost word for word loads of people saying who do you fancy that's out there let's start with you Zayn and work our way around um, no pressure I'll be honest don't I'm lie pretty hey, don't wait, hang on a second right. you lot have never been on my show before so let me just put this out there 
I don't like the PR answer. I okay. like the honest answer. I want everyone behind we, the we glass. We don't give a PR answer. We don't have a PR answer. We never give PR Turn around, look at everyone in that room. Look them in the eye and let them know that they're going to feel very nervous with what you're about to say. All right? Now, feel free to say whoever you want. Zane, over to you. Genuinely, I'm pretty standard. I fancy... Megan Fox and like Jessica Alba. They're right. like. They're How about let's be a bit more UK centric. Who okay. are they right Ooh. now? U- UK central. Um, oh man, I'm not sure, you know. Come on, man. Come on, there's gotta be someone. Uh, start... Any of the Saturdays? Oh, the Saturday. What do you think of Cheryl? <laughs> Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl Coles. Oh, Cheryl's All right, amazing. standard, standard Cheryl option. Up there. Yeah. Okay, standard. over to you. Howard. Actually, Talisa. There, there you oh, go. Oh, Talisa, just, yes. That's what I just yeah, thought. Nice. <laughs> you can have the same one. Yeah, we can have the same one. It's not a competition. Harry. I don't know, man. I, I always come up with the same answers. I feel like I should switch it up. Switch it up. Go crazy. With, uh, Gary, Gary Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going with Gary Barlow for Harry. Oh, Moving on. Um, <laughs> oh. This is taking us so long. I've had my answer I, here like this. I expect you guys to be kind of quick. You lot are really letting me down. You go for it. I was going to keep it in Radio 1 and go for Fern Cotter. There it is! Yes! That's the answer I was looking for. Do you know what? Fern's getting back from holiday this week. And um, Fern's had some time to relax. She's let her hair down. She's had a little birthday trip. She's probably going to play this out on her show. So, you think that she's attractive? Let her know. Go and tell her. She'll play this on her show. Wow. Um, (laughs) Fern, I think you're incredible. Oh. He always says that. Full stop. Yeah. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. Short and sweet. <laughs> uh, boys, uh, I've had uh, only a short amount of time with you, and it's a bit frustrating, really, because we've gone all around the houses to get you together and talk to you. But thank you so much for coming in. So thank you. Thank you. Nice official you. number one. Love you too, brother. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say anything to the people that went out there and bought your record? Just, I think, just a massive, massive thank you to everyone, because, you know, this has been an incredible year for us. Uh, the support that we've had so far has been continuous and incredible. Uh, our fans are so dedicated. And just anyone who downloaded the single, massive thank you, because we wouldn't be here without you, so thank you. I think I might have just weed myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and as well, a big well done to Ed Sheeran as well for getting... Yeah, yeah. One yes. Up one yeah. Big up to the ginger um, kid. And his Lego making. There's one thing that I think a lot of people will definitely be expecting, I think you guys kind of have to do. Um, is there anything you want to say to the people that came to Radio 1 today that didn't get to see you because it all got a bit bonkers? Yeah, we're just really bonkers. sorry, you know, that we couldn't come down and see you guys. Um, but massive thanks for coming out to come and see us and uh, supporting us. We love you guys and you're great. We've all got our best gear on and got dressed up and everything. Yeah, <laughs> and then we had to get in the car and just We're all in tuxes, you can't see it. <laughs> no. I'm wearing my pyjama box. So we know you're <laughs> um, Okay, so this week's number one is a new entry on the official chart here on BBC Radio 1, coming from a secret location. But that feels weird to say. I think it's only fair that you guys announce it. So would you like to announce this week's number one? Harry? Go on, Alex. This is this week's number one. It's What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.